Question 5. So here we're given a function that's given by x squared minus 8x plus 19. And now they want us to express this into this form. So if you remember, this form is known as completing the square. Okay, so let's have a shot at this. So now how to do this? Well, it's a very straightforward method. So let's do this, part A. All you really do is consider the first two parts and then half the second number. Copy the rest and then minus the square of that half number. And just wrap it up in a bracket. So let's do this. So in this case, we're going to have x minus 4 all squared. Copy the rest and then minus the remaining square, which is minus 4 squared, which is 16. Collecting this up and boom. I mean, this is actually pretty straightforward. Plus 3. Now, the main part of this question is the sketching part. So here we have to sketch the graph with the given points. So it tells us sketch this graph at point P when it crosses the y axis and sketch the po uh, sketch graph at point Q with the turning points. From completing the square, we should know that the turning point is always the points here. So the turning point is given by the x axis. So if it's in a bracket, it will be a positive x, so it will be 4. And of course, this is plus 3, so it will just be 3. This will be at point Q. At point P, when it crosses with the y axis, all that means, let's have a go, is this point here. So, crossing the y axis, we should know that the intercept here is given right at the beginning, which is plus 19. And that's it. So, we know it crosses at 0, 19. Oops. And this is point P. And that's literally it. So we're just plotting it quickly. We should have, say this is 19. Let's say we've got 4, I don't know, 3. Yeah, we're going to make it so realistic. And then we just sketch a nice curve. And it should look like this. Yeah, so remember, turning point is always the lowest point on the equation, which is here. So this is, again, 4, 3. That's it, so I love this. Here they want us to find the distance PQ. And you go, you go represent it into a third form. So, pretty straightforward, isn't it? So, knowing the usual distance formula, so let's call this PQ. It's going to be, firstly, you know, through the Pythagoras method, take the difference between the two coordinates. So, let's say start x. So, before take away 0, all squared, plus 3 take away 19, all squared. And then we have the square root the whole thing now just again simple math so let's expand the bracket so 4 take away nothing squared is 16 3 take away 19 is minus 16 so minus 16 squared it's pretty much you can just start with you can just work with 16 squared if you don't know this one already the easy, easiest way to do this 16 times 16 is firstly 16 times 10 and then 16 times 6. This one, 16 times 10 is 160. 16 times 6, well, another easy one I'll say is times it by 5 and then times it by 1. We know half of 160 is 80. 16 is just 16. Adding all these guys up, you can get 6. 16 plus 8 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. 256. Again, I mean, if you already know this, then definitely skip parts of this one this is just all mental maths now so final step adding these two together should give us 16 plus 256 should be 272 yeah so again mental maths let's break this into half so halving this number always always work hard so root 2 and uh, this should give us 1 half of 72 is 36 root 136 again root 2 Half of 36 is 18, plus, 50, plus half of 100, eight, so it should be 68. Now it gets easier. So this is root 2, root 34, half of 34, 17. And then notice how many 2's we got. we got 1, 2, so these 2 make the whole number 2. These 2 make another whole number 2. And we're left with 2 times 2 is 4, 4 root 17, and thus guys, we should get 4 root 17. Done.